Hey, um, I totally agree with you that we have to prepare. Um, my whole existence up to now has just been like, as a photographer, just watching the world around me and re be removing myself from the situation, like knowing that I'm part of it as the observer, but not. I wouldn't affect it until, other than being there and just watching. Um, and I noticed that a smile on my face behind the camera has an effect on their smile on their face. <clears throat> So, in a sense, I could be not enjoying what I do, and they wouldn't be enjoying what I do, and they wouldn't be enjoying their whole experience of the thing. Or I can just let go of my, all my thoughts about the things, all about worrying, am I doing this right? Am I accomplishing what I need to accomplish? Or I can just understand the process of wondering and moving towards something that's higher than yourself is the fun part. <laughs> Um, there's something out there that need, people need to look up if you're getting into the shamanism stuff. Um, I've been working on making my body pure, and there's a way to kind of recycle your own juices once you're on um, a substance where you can live off your own living water. Um, like you'll notice your urine. it'll come out one direction, a vortex, and as it, it starts to slow down, it'll spin in direction. So, we have the double vortex in us, and that's what our heart does. So we actually have living water coming out of us at every moment. <clears throat> our urine is a byproduct of our blood, whereas the stuff we don't want comes out the back end, so the good stuff comes out the front end. It's or plasma, but it's with the molecule uh, laminin, L-A-M-I-N-I-N, -I -N -I -N. laminin, um, that is the molecule that basically holds us together. It's the straight line between the round lines, is that, <clears throat> if that makes sense, um, Google laminin, um, and you'll see across um, and then across kind of just opened my eyes to how to be healthy basically whenever you eat something that's bad for you your body does this vortex motion in your heart um, and essentially that makes your blood itself um, electromagnetically charged so all the minerals in your blood are actually working as tuning forks together is on and resonating instead of just some random coil that's going off into nowhere your thoughts are too scattered whereas if you're intentful I guess um, but yeah <laughs> if that makes sense um, so in a sense if like most people if the stores do go empty they're you know, what do I do, what do I do, um, instead of worrying, being that guy in the street corner saying, oh my god, there's going to be a famine, I believe them, blah, blah. what do I do, right, so I looked up a recipe, uh, what do I have that's around me, that is always around me, pine needles, okay, and if it's winter, it's snowing, okay, so what can I do, so I'll take snow, and I'll take some pine needles, I'll clean them off, I'll break the pine needles to actually break the cell, the cell membrane. <coughs> Put the jar of water in the sun, or the, the snow in the sun, and by the end of the day, the sun has officially just gotten all the vitamin C out of uh, the pine needles. And I read somewhere it's like five times the amount of vitamin C from then uh, from pine needle tea than in uh, lemon or lime or whatever. Um, so, like, if we were a pirate sailing the open seas and not having fresh fruits and vegetables, and if we had the knowledge back then of, say, having 
buy meals as reserves for medicine, then it would be a different story, right? Um, another reason pine needles are great is because they collect rainwater, or essentially the sulfur out of um, the environment. And when it, we do make pine needle tea out of it, that natural MSM is a decalcifier. And that calcification of us is what causes all of our pain. Um, cataracts, hard of hearing, um, I mean, it's just a buildup of calcium, so basically adding proper salt to our water, um, being probably grounded, like there's plastic that is a conductant, like electro grounding static mats where people work on computers, and the little pin at the end actually fits into the ground wire in the plug in your wall outlet. So, I don't know if you can see this. It's just a grounding mat and a banana plug. I made the extension so I can sit on it. So I can sit on it at my computer while I do whatever I need to do. Um, but as soon as you touch that at the speed of light, the Earth is um, electron generator. So basically, it's being uh, our negative charge to the positive ions in the air. Basically, putting that electromagnetic shield around us so any odd vibrations or wireless signals from cell phones or internet um, won't bombard you. So it'd be like standing barefoot outside or being in a lake or having that grounded connection. Basically, realizing that you are know you're more than physical, but you do realize you have a physical body and that it is here and now. Your thoughts about here and now can be from another perspective. So it's just your physical body that's here and now. Here's your, you're triangulating one aspect of life and that is here and now. Your thoughts could be like of somewhere else, of someone else, but it's your thoughts about that from here now. Is the world broken? Is the world being fixed? Or are we just coming to terms with what we've done and letting go of the elastic we've been pulling on for so long and finally propelling ourselves into the future that we want? So, um, in that case.